development of history. What is the best way for us to make a film that moves other people, that moves many people to feel that they can make a revolution in this country? By telling us how you got there. You, a woman of a certain age in the United States, under these conditions, <clears throat> under these events, you reacted in this way. You had these fears, you had these strengths, you had these ideas, and so you've come to this place in, 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 in American society, which I happen to think is a very good place to be in American society today. And how did you get there? And you can't say Miss X, born of middle class parents in New York, is certain, certain. who the hell cares about Miss X? We're, we're scientists, we're professional, full-time revolutionaries, and, and we, we got this way for very specific reasons, political reasons. We study a lot, we think all the time about certain kinds of things. Anybody else could do that too, anytime they wanted. The, the point of view of television, of textbooks, of all of that is the point of view of the people who make money, who govern, who rule the country. Um, and so we're taught to identify with their successes or their failures. What we're saying is that it's a success or failure of masses of people. So it definitely is a combination of a pushing and pulling between us, I think. That's the only chance. It's a common mistake to think that violence is a choice in political matters. Violence exists in certain social situations, and it's not a question of choosing to be violent or nonviolent. I think you could start by saying who created this wealth? You know, where did this incredible technological industrial power and potential come from? Because that's one of the best kept secrets. You know, Rockefeller acts as if his family made this wealth. Um, of course, it's the people that made the wealth. People built the railroad and died building the railroads. People opened up the farmland and people produced the food. People created the giant industrial capacity that exists. And at every stage of that work, the wealth was stolen from the people and gathered in fewer and fewer hands. to make a revolution without violence, we would be for it. But nothing in history, nothing that you see in society around you would lead you to that conclusion. This society is organized on profit. That's the assumption. And that profit doesn't just come because some people are smarter than others. That's a theft. There's the violence. That's the roots of the violence. And I think the only way of ending a violent system is by tearing it out by the roots. That's a radical solution.